John Avalos, you're San Francisco City Supervisor. You're trying to guarantee that Occupy San Francisco doesn't meet the same fate. Explain what you're doing. Well, yesterday I introduced a resolution co-sponsored by three other supervisors uh, to call on uh, the mayor and the police department to cooperate and collaborate with the Occupy movement and Occupy SF movement. Uh, and in my mind, uh, the occupation in and of itself is uh, the right to assembly and free speech. Uh, so you can't, I would say our constitutional rights uh, would trump uh, any uh, law we have here at the local level. Uh, and what the Occupy movement is about is uh, certainly something greater uh, than uh, the, the need to contain public space, uh, and I, I support it. The resolution calls for uh, the departments, the police department, the Department of Public Health, and the Rec and Park Department, uh, the, main, the main departments that are in confluence with uh, the Occupy Movement protesters, uh, to work collaboratively on sharing space and providing resources uh, that could uh, benefit uh, the, the movement staying in its uh, current space or finding another space where they can, uh, they can occupy. And talk about what, why people are occupying John Avalos and what the issues you feel must be protected. And this whole issue of we are the 99 percent, which has become the mantra, and what you feel needs to be done to protect them. Well, sure. Thank you. I actually represent a part of San Francisco that has a high rate of foreclosure, um, the 914112 uh, zip code, and as well as Bayview Harness Point and Visitation Valley. And my part of San Francisco has a really high level of foreclosure. A lot of households are working class, middle class households. Uh, that were uh, a lot of them were taken by the subprime uh, loan lending uh, crisis, and uh, they're now losing their their wealth, which is in their homes. Uh, a lot of them are dealing with high unemployment. We have the highest unemployment rate in San Francisco. It's about 9.7 percent in San Francisco, but much higher in our communities and, and communities of color, African American community and Latino community. It's much higher. Uh, a lot of people are disaffected. We have a lot of we have high homelessness of families. Uh, often homelessness gets targeted as single adults in San Francisco, but we have families that are on our waiting list for homeless uh, services, for housing, for emergency housing. Uh, that's a crisis that's rising, uh, and so we have a lot of people who are very frustrated with. Uh, uh, the conditions that uh, they are living in. Uh, we are living in conditions that uh, have not uh, received uh, the, the bailout, the, the, the respite uh, from the federal government that we had expected would come with the bailout of the banks. Um, John uh, Avalos, in, uh, in this, this issue of the banks and foreclosures, the uh, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors has weighed such a move, um, including supporting not only the Occupy San Francisco encampment, but urging adoption of policies that would prompt big banks and to mod modifying mortgages. How can the Board of Supervisors do this? Well, currently, um, I've called for uh, a study on creation of our own municipal bank here in San Francisco. Uh, and we have uh, our budget is $6.8 uh, billion. And every year, we actually totally, um, beyond our, our budget with the, the school district and city college district, um, we have a $12, $12 billion budget uh, that goes through financial institutions uh, in the Bay Area and around the country. And if we had a way to leverage our, uh, our, our pocketbook, to get the banks to be more accountable to supporting small businesses or to help uh, households uh, to uh, avoid defaults through loan modifications or to uh, underwrite, to write down uh, the mortgages to the current property value of, of households that are underwater. Uh, we could pump more money into the local economy. We can create more jobs. Uh, that's, that, that's the idea behind it. So we're looking at, uh, you know, long term, a creation of a municipal bank. But in the short term, can we uh, do, we have any leverage points on the local and banking institutions, either through divestment of our dollars into other institutions? Uh, community, community financial, um, what are they called, uh, community development financial institutions or credit unions that will help us uh, more readily here at the local level. John Avalos, we want to thank you for being with us, San Francisco City Supervisor.